County is finalizing its ordinance for the lounges. Joe Moeller is live near one location where a future lounge could open. Joe. Uh, Trisha, we are edging closer to when these lounges could open here in Nevada. The city of Las Vegas and Clark County are now getting closer to creating their own ordinances for these lounges. Meanwhile, businesses like Planet 13 behind me here are waiting for the right time to submit their business application. The ball's moving. David Ferris from Planet 13 says the planning has started. This is new for everybody, and so uh, this is really our first time doing it. He says they are trying to be as prepared as possible when it comes to time to apply for a cannabis consumption lounge permit. So we're really looking at putting inside our restaurant and, and transitioning that into a smoking lounge, an eatery of some sorts. Wednesday, the Las Vegas City Council voted to allow cannabis lounges in the city limits. Next, they will have to create their own ordinance. Meanwhile, Clark County is one step closer to getting them open. Um, consumption of the cannabis materials ought to happen at a distance. Tuesday, they voted to finalize their own rules for consumption lounges. The Department of Business Licensing presented some modifications to the state's rules, including increasing the distance lounges can be from community centers like daycares, parks, and public pools from 300 feet to 1,500 feet. If you would favor uh, limiting it to just indoor consumption, raise your hand. They also are requiring pot smoking be done indoors, and facilities must get a separate permit for a patio. They also put in place a last call requirement for purchasing pot at facilities not operating 24 hours. Last call must be two hours before closing. This is an intent to get at um, basically avoiding the deadly hour where after a closing time or a last call. County commissioners also voted for a no tow policy outside lounges, so vehicles of patrons can't be towed for 24 hours. The Cannabis Compliance Board says they will take lounge applications starting October 14th through the 27th. Ferris knows customers are eager. Uh, do a lot of people ask when one of these lounges is opening? Yeah, we get the question all the time. You know, we get the question of how can how they can consume. So all of those rules you just heard there apply to lounges that will be in the county limits. As far as for the city, if they're planning to open a lounge in the city, well, city uh, council still has to vote on an ordinance that would apply to those locations. So when does it, what does this all mean? When could we see these lounges actually opening up? Well, the CCB tells me that uh, we could see the first one opening by the end of the year. Reporting near the Strip, I'm Joe Moore.